Hello, Sagittarius. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, my loves. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation work and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Here we go. We must sage the cards for the gods with a little bit of weed that I have left. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right. So, you got to do what you got to do, huh, Sagittarius? Let's see what the magical message is from the fairies. First, it says travel and epic have been trip proves to be life changing in positive ways. And to also walk away, such as Teddy, because everything's going to be fucking all right. I'm trying to tell you that right now. So, trouble doesn't last always. Leave the unhealthy situations alone and enjoy the new doors that opens as a result. Don't worry, it's working out in a beautiful way. All right, so some of you guys definitely could be uh, thinking of some manifesting some opportunities, multiple opportunities. Could be that there's a relationship you're, that you're trying to manifest. Um, but I also have the justice energy here. So there also could be some things that you're wanting in fairness and in truth. Could be dealing with the legal system as well. And also with the king of wands. This is you. I am successful in all that I do. So let's see what's going on with the romance angels off top and then between your partner because i feel like this is you you are worried about your success your truth your fairness okay your comfort your money stacking up your money baby and your cups of love so here we go sagittati for the 15th through the 31st you have getting to know you and also finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now been getting that for you guys uh, for quite some time about your love life being affected by your money, honey, and getting to know each other for sure. Could be some romantic feelings for some of you guys. And could be some children that are involved. Your love life is being affected by children. All right. So those romantic feelings, they're worth exploring, Sagittati. So let your inhibitions run wild, baby. Let's see what's going on between you and your partner. Here we go. Whatever this is that you need to walk away from, you know it's unhealthy. And it's testing your, your um, characteristics as a human being. So be aware of that. I do feel like there's definitely some sort of message or someone that's wanting to break some sort of communication with the Princess of Pentacles and also uh, the Libra energy. You guys could be dealing with justice system once again or just fairness overall. I feel like with the moon energy, it's a lot of fears and unknown and hidden messages and reflections and things of that nature that you're definitely going through between you and your partner of the fairness and the balance and going back and forth with how they do bring their delivery to you of messaging, okay? Or how their message comes off. You have the Scorpio energy. With the death, there definitely could be a lot of transformation, renewals, uh, things of that nature. A rebuilding process is what I'm seeing here with the emperor. You could be dealing with someone older, but I feel like somebody is not really wanting to take this gamble, but at the same time, they're wanting a restart. So I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely wanting some sort of new um, beginnings. It could be that you're trying to just take care of your money and have a lot of strong power overall. Like I said, you guys have been dealing with money for quite some time. This could be that situation you're definitely going to have to walk away from because it could be unhealthy, especially trying to take that gamble. So between you and your partner, I definitely feel like someone is trying to let go of something that they were building, that they were taking a gamble on. Right. And definitely um, shaking things up with the tower energy. So Let's see how they view you, Sagittati, for the 15th through the 31st. All right, so someone is wanting some clarity with the sun energy. They're definitely viewing you as someone who could have cut some things off, but at the same time, you want facts. Definitely could have been some sharp words that were exchanged or just that overall angry energy, all right, with this king of swords. 
definitely could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. So I feel like they view you as love and happiness and wish fulfillment as well. Look at them all at the picnic table. I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely, um, they're, it's like they're viewing you as love, but at the same time, um, someone's afraid to take a new step or a new leap. That's what I'm seeing here for the 15th through the 31st. So let's see um, what you don't see. Okay, so possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Could be someone who's healing from a situation. It could be that there's a lot of backstabbing that was going on or someone who's coming in and out. Could have been due to the betrayals. You really weren't focused on um, how they were really treating you and your emotions. But I feel like um, what you don't see is that you're definitely going to become aware to how this person is extremely flighty um, in their actions or how you need to withdraw or break away from um, certain certain environments and certain behaviors. Okay. So what you don't see is that there's definitely something that's driving you probably absolutely insane. Okay. You have the Nine of Swords energy here. It could be someone that's hanging around uh, with the hangman energy. And I feel like for some of you guys, there's definitely with the four of um, wands, some sort of build up that someone's been building up to, or we're trying to get some sort of stability, trying to build up towards a house. Okay. That Susie homemaker shit. And I feel like uh, what you don't see is somebody is definitely working here with the nine of pentacles, but they're also making final decisions while they're working. So they could be at their job just sitting there making final decisions like, nope, I'm not going to do that. So definitely be aware of that is what you don't see. Or this could be you, somebody who's just really trying to work extremely hard and making final decisions and final calls based off of someone who could have been uh, from the distant past or someone who wasn't trying to bring some things together. So let's see their intentions. All right, so far you have the King of Wands and also the Hermit energy. I feel like uh, their intentions is to definitely start something new. It could be that player-like energy you guys are dealing with, but I feel like one of you guys wants to cut something off that could be really factual, wanting stone cold, uh, you know, just like bitter face type motherfuckers. I feel like a lot of you guys, Sagittarius, could be um, somebody who's definitely feeling very worrisome or having a lot of worries. could be that there's a lot of... Um, resistance or just overall um someone who doesn't want to carry this on is what i'm seeing here and their intentions also could be a third party situation involved or family and friends that could be involved also could be some sort of uh some of y'all could be needing some sex or this person just feels like the opportunity isn't there okay so let's see who's fine could be um, possible Cancer Pisces Scorpio, somebody that's going with the motherfucking winds, okay, with the um, Seven of Cups, also with the King of Cups. Could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio, like I said. Um, definitely someone who you were worried about or some sort of emotional news. Cancer Pisces Scorpio woman as well. So you could be having multiple people looking at you, looking at your social media page. I feel like whoever was spying was trying to see if you were getting rid of some sort of third party or traveling towards some sort of third party. So definitely be aware of that. It could be that there was a blockage between traveling between you two. But I feel like a lot of you guys um, and who's spying, it could be someone who's jealous with the nine of cups to kind of want what you have. They could be picking out what you have. Okay. Wanting to take that for themselves is what I'm seeing here. That's who's fine. Cancer Pisces Scorpio for sure. Virgo Taurus Capricorn as well. And also um, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy here. Okay, you could be dealing with an outside influence with Gemini Libra Aquarius. Someone who could be far. But uh, I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely trying to steer and avoid away from feeling very sad. If this, Especially if this person isn't trying to bring on success. All right. Especially if they could be spying and they're not trying to do nothing about You got the three of sword energy here. So a lot of you guys are definitely dealing with um, possible Gemini Libra Aquarius, like I said, but third party situations that could be bringing on some news. So be aware of that. Let's see what's going on um, on the outside influences and possible outcomes for the 15th through the 31st. Let's see what's going on, babies. Here we go. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like both of you guys are definitely money and goal oriented here. 
Um, it could be that there is money influenced on the outside. It could be someone whose feelings is really hurt, felt like they were extremely uh, neglect, neglected on their feelings. It could be someone who's drowning, feeling down and out with the five of cups. And also uh, somebody's emotions who felt empty. I feel like um, someone was having a lot of differences in their own traditions with the Hierophant energy, having a lot of expectations in their outside influences. Could be a lot of belief systems or just spiritual backgrounds and differences that you guys have. That's probably, you know, what that's all about. But I feel like uh, with a lot of these emotions that you're letting go of, they're definitely, uh, you're starting to see how things are coming into play, okay? Especially with that moon card. So let's see about possible outcomes, okay? Could be dealing with the Pisces as well. With the full energy, some of you all are just not wanting to let go. They could be, uh, you could be afraid of letting go of something, but you're also wanting some sort of new star. You guys could be dealing with two different energies here as well. Possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, also Aries with the magician energy. Some of you guys are trying to express, you know, how you want to go back and forth with this person, but you just can't cut it off. There could be some sort of traveling distance or distance between you guys, but I do feel like there's a lot of uh, karmatic energy between you and this person. Could have been some money involved, contracts. Someone could have been extremely immature here with this page of cups or is being very immature. Okay, they really are just afraid of success or they could be jealous of your success, Sagittarius. Definitely could be dealing with a Gemini. But there's a lot of third party situations that someone is definitely coming out of. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. But I feel like somebody had some sort of betrayal. Could have been due to a third party or due to commitments and agreeing or making some sort of agreements to commitments is what I'm seeing here. But also um, with the five of pentacles coming in reverse, I feel like somebody's hanging around waiting to see if someone is going to come out of the cold with them. Or if they're really just, you know, if how angry you really are once this person does come around with the hangman energy. Now, with the Four of Swords and also the um, Strength Energy, you could be dealing with a Leo, but I feel somebody is getting a lot of strength from things from the past that you're healing from or that someone is definitely healing from, okay? You could be mentally reflecting about a family or someone could be thinking about a family that causes a lot of anxiety, but it looks to me like you're getting ready to close that cycle out, okay? Definitely could be dealing with someone who's spying on you with the Page of Swords, possible outcomes for the 15th through the 31st. Um... Also, uh, could be that player-like energy. Definitely be aware of that air uh, quality, that flighty quality. Um, but somebody is definitely, for some of you all, they're not really all the way together. They could be a manipulator. They could be a narcissist. So definitely be aware of that. Always putting themselves in binds that they're trying to get out of, even though they're pretending like they're in independence. Now, I do feel like there's definitely some sort of um, uh, money offers on the table for you with the Ace of Pentacles and the Temperance Energy, my loves. So this is you. You're in your independence. You are also uh, getting some sort of abundance money here, okay? Could be something that you're trying to pour, uh, have some new renewals coming into and pour for your own damn self. But I feel like there could be some sort of communication. So definitely be aware of that. But with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here, there could be a lot of obsessive energy. There could be a lot of sexual behaviors that you guys are dealing with with this person or just overall somebody that's all that they fucking want. All right. Could be some addictions, uh, drug habits, things of that nature you're dealing with. But I feel like possible outcomes, someone is definitely wanting to communicate with you. Okay. So my loves, if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you leave the description box down below. Check out my website. Peace.